Hi, my name is Crystal Martino. I'm from a small town called St. George, South Carolina. The population is around 2,000 people, and my business name is Crystal Family Hair Care, Inc. Um, I have this brochure right here, and I'm just going to read it to you because it explains basically what the um, what my business does as far as giving back to the community, not only just serving the community by doing the hair and things like that, but we also give back to the school that I graduated from. So it says the kit scholarship. This corporation has five board members who pay monthly dues to keep this scholarship going. We award at least one student at the Dorchester County Career and Technology Center money to pay for their cosmetology or nail kit. Why do I care about making a difference? I got tired of traveling to work in somebody else's hair salon in 2011. So I opened my own salon called Crystal Family Hair Care. In April 2012, after working in my community so many years and watching my dad and his mom give back to their college, Claflin University, I wanted to give back to the school that helped me discover my gift. So my business is a residential hair salon. It started as a place for me to serve my clients. I, without driving 20 to 30 minutes away from my retired parents and my two kids. If I didn't get my cosmetology license in high school, I don't know how my life would be. Who can receive the kit scholarship? This annual scholarship will award at least one student with $325 to pay for their cosmetology kit and they need and they will need the kit for the rest of their career. Funding will further my business goals by us helping to give more than just one scholarship. $2,500 is enough to have a business party at, at a venue where we can raise money to buy at least six kit scholarships. And the career school has already told me that it's a lot of kids that need, that are struggling to pay their, pay for their cosmetology um, kit. So I know that it will definitely be a blessing if I could use $2,500 to invest in my business so that I can give it back to not just one student because that's all I can do on my level but if I had a grant and did a party then I can give at least six students um a kid scholarship so um like having a business party at a venue where we can raise money to buy at least six kit scholarships and celebrate our donors. This funding will take our business to the next step by empowering us to, to help more students and expand our salon so we can serve more clients and hire more qualified stylists. So not only do I do hair, but I'm also working as a caregiver. I want to start another business as an adult daycare. So the so I already got one dream with my own salon, but I'm trying to dream another dream, make that come true. Um as I, you know, get older and seeing a need for more services and more gifts that I can use on others that can help my community in St. George. And a little more about me. I went to the Dorchester County Career School for Cosmetology in 11th and 12th grade. I was not sure if I wanted to do hair, skin, and nails, but I always loved hair salons. I was really interested in having my own salon and hiring stylists. As I learned about cosmetology, I became more interested in serving customers and collaborating with stylists. My instructor, Ms. Mixon, told me that 
if I want to own a hair salon, I need to be a hairstylist because what if I have the customers, but I don't have a hairstylist? That is when I knew I wanted to be a licensed cosmetologist. I got my license in 2004. That's the same year that I graduated high school. And I was my own boss ever since. And this is the brochure. And thank you. I hope that you can give me a hundred votes or a thousand votes or all the votes 2500 votes would be great but i do want to get as many votes as possible so that i can invest this money into my town and into my community and i know that i'm going to make some students very happy and i'm going to also you know relieve some students parents from buying their child their cosmetology kit because you know it is rough living in a small town and especially trying to do things on a low income because i know it's much much more expensive to go to a cosmetology school outside of high school but these kids are in high school and they're going to go to state board while they're in high school and come out of school with a with a license and i just really 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 know that whatever i can do to help them reach their goals i want to do it because like i told you i come from a family that give back to their college that they went to and so i didn't go to college so this is what i could do on my level and i'm very proud of that so thank you for listening to my pitch